Okay, this is a comparison between the old-fashioned Colt Navy 44 cap and ball. We're going to shoot that up against a modern-day 9mm, the hollow point. See what the difference is in the ballistics gel, penetration-wise, um, bullet path, everything. Uh, the first shot is going to be four layers of denim. Uh, this block here I shot into earlier. So you may see some little trails through it, but I uh, immediately noticed we needed another block, so uh, we're going to be able to catch these bullets in this far block, uh, so it's necessary, and I don't have a, another clean block to use, so that's the block. So four layers of denim, uh, gelatin, 44 cap and ball, step back and take a shot. Nice solid hit, and you can see, I like how that sucks that denim into that hole. <laughs> uh, it went clear through the first one all the way into the second one by probably three and a half to four inches, and you can see the ball <laughs> stuck in there. Now if you see the difference in these gelatin blocks, um, they're both the same consistency. This one I made with the Knox gelatin, and it's very dark colored. This was a Meyer brand, and I'm going to start using that from now on because look how, look how uh, light it is. You can see right through it. Uh, we're going to do the same test. Four layers of denim. It's a modern 9mm hollow point. And it's a uh, Hornady Z-Max, Hornady Zombie Round. Try not to hit the same wound channel. And I'm all set up for that, so take that shot. And here we go. Another decent shot. Wow. All the way through the first one, so we really can eliminate that. You can see these uh, these wound channels. That's the particular one we just shot just now. These other ones were from earlier today. Uh, it's a video that didn't really take well. And penetration-wise, you can see that bullet in there. See it pretty clearly. Didn't penetrate as far as the round ball, but of course, it's a uh, hollow point. So, you know, it's not going to penetrate as much. But, um, pretty good overall test result. I'm surprised that uh, ball went that far through there. What's even funnier is if you look at this, um, this is one of the other balls that I shot earlier. Um, that's the denim pattern right there where it mashed into the denim. It's got a, like a pattern on it. So, about first block plus about two inches and the other one's first block plus about three and a half inches penetration and that bullet went in and it slightly turned and it's pointing uh, outwards towards us I just want to get that in the visual again there's that Hornady Z-Max about at the last little couple inches it just spun around and stopped right there as long as we've got this out here I want to uh, shoot one of those uh, I want to shoot one of them other bullets into it. One of these uh, halo points. Got one in my pocket. I'll drop it in here real quick. No denim or anything. I'm just going to shoot into that top block. See what happens for recovery and trajectory. Always seem to shoot a little low with those. Fragmented all over, piece there, piece there, piece there, piece there. And I basically shot a little bit low with it. Cut right down through here. And the base of it is in this dark block right in here. You can see that base. Wish I would get a good shot with one of those for a change. Seems like every time I shoot them I get a low shot or something. And I think it's me, not the bullet. Alright, thanks for watching.